Oh, man. Matcha. <laughs> and what have we got? A beer review. You've got, you've got three of the Clemens men here, and we've got a beer. That's right. It is Eclipse. It's mm -hmm. from 5050 Brewing. It's the 2012 Blue Wax, which means it's the old Fitzgerald bourbon barrel. And 5050 mm -hmm. is out of Truckee, California. This is a 9.5% ABV Imperial Stout. And all I know is uh, it's just a great Imperial Stout. We, we've enjoyed different versions over the years, yeah. so we're going to get this cracked open and give it a try. Right on. Let's do it. <laughs> the boys are pouring, and look at this. I mean, Shit. I can smell it, and it hasn't gotten near my nose. I'm so it. excited. I yeah, Christian needs, needs to get the last of that. Oh, creamy. Oh. All right. So this is just like black goodness with a thin eh, tan head. A little darker than, it's not a light tan. But, um, Mr. Dramatic. You let's, gotta get every drop. Let's get a nose on it. I can smell it right yeah, now. Yeah, I, I can smell it before I got it to my Glasses, face. Oh my god. Glasses, chocolate. Bourbon. Oh yeah. Bourbon. Huge caramel. I'm getting some dark fruits. You get dark fruits. Oh. I get some nice vanilla on it too. Yes. Oh, a little yeah. bit of a stir, man. Oh, that bourbon that is complex. That is good. That yeah, old like, Fitzgerald bourbon and the oakiness on it is. Wow. I, I almost want to pour it up my nose. It's that <laughs> I good. I just get dark dried fruits, like the ju like prune, juicy prunes. Yeah, yeah. prunes. I almost get a little bit of date too. Yeah, a hint of date, a hint of fig, but mostly the prunes. Mostly prunes. <sighs> oh, but the chocolate. I mean, the dark, and it's yeah. a dark, rich chocolate. It's there might be a, a bit of a bittersweet oh, yeah. scent. It's a it's a like a dark bittersweet and a dark. I mean, it's like I get I get a little bit of all of them. You get a little bit of that booziness. A and little? then that molasses. <laughs> the molasses hit early. Yeah, the molasses and the bourbon hit me really early, as well as the dark fruits. But oh, but I get a little of that ethyl alcohol scent, you know that. Uh, yeah, and there's some nice roastiness on it. A tiny bit, yeah. Yeah. Not enough to make it smell like tobacco. But the caramel, the, the caramel. So that is a a nice description. Makes me think of when they talk about pralines, and you get like that praline ice cream. It's got a yeah. nice sweet caramel. On there too. I'm getting some of that. It for me the caramel the caramel mixes with a little bit of the vanilla smell. Yeah. So it's tough to pull it out, but yeah. All right. So again, this is the 2012 wonderful mm. boys. Cheers. Mm, yeah. Let's dive in. Oh. Oh, oh chocolate immediately. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, the dark chocolate. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, what's that on the back side? Oh man. Okay, this is a little bit of leather. Yeah. Ah. On the back side. Idiot. Sometimes that leather and tobacco come together, but I'm not getting any of the tobacco. This is like straight leathery. On the front, man, it seems like it's all about the bourbon and the dark chocolate. Yes. I get some like char charry notes, some nice. Yeah. Rich campfire char like notes. Yeah. You still get a little bit of the dark fruits. You get a little bit of that mm -hmm. prune in there, almost towards a raisin, maybe. Yeah. But nice and just thick sugars. Yes. Mm. Yeah. It, yeah. You definitely taste the caramelized bit on the back there. I think that kind of goes along with the toast and flavors. Kind of and I think in. I get a bit of the date sugar on there, too, that you mentioned. Yeah, I, I was going to say a little bit. Not quite the raisins that I'm getting, but uh, the dates almost or fig, yeah. But I'm kind of getting a little bit of like the caramelized brown sugars on there. It's almost uh, not just caramelized, but caramelized to the point where it almost gets charred. Yeah. Mm. So it's it's really bringing out that toasty that toasty oh, yeah. flavor. Here now I got thirsty. Yeah, it's roasty and toasty, and you've got the roasted malts. You I can totally s'mores. pick up on those. Yeah, I mean, this does make me think a little bit of that, you know, I mean, if you had marshmallows in this, and it oh, yeah. could almost be a s'more. Wow. It's delicious. Yeah, that's really good. This is nice, because this has had age, 
And so it's still, you pick up some of the booziness off this, and yet yeah. it's still pretty smooth though, I think. It's very yeah. smooth. Very, very I'm smooth. I'm very impressed with it. It's not as thick as I was thinking it was going to be, but uh, it does have some nice mouthfeel to it. Yeah, it's it's not thick, but it still has a heavy feel to it. It's I'm actually heavy. getting more of that molasses flavor as I sip on it, yeah. and it kind of warms up. All right, we're going to let this warm up a bit, and we'll come back with uh, some final thoughts. Mm. It's delicious. It really is. Enough said. Um, yeah, the character hasn't changed a lot, I don't think, for me. Mm-mm. -mm. It stayed pretty consistent. Some of the bourbon's coming back through now. Yeah. So how do we rank this? This is a barrel-aged imperial stout. What do you got for me, Colin? What do I have? As a style? Mm -hmm. Oof, that's tough. Um, I don't know, 96, I guess. I mean, this is, this is really tasty. It's got everything you want in an imperial stout. Um, it's... It's got that nice bourbon on top of it too, so um, it's not too heavy, but it's still creamy. It's got the toasted part. It's got the chocolate. I mean, it's yeah. As as far as an imperial stout goes, not my favorite, but definitely a top tier. Yeah, I would agree. Um, it's just barely making the world class rankings. It's a ninety six. Like there's stuff they could definitely improve on. But this is two years old. Like this is this is pretty dang fantastic, and I really like it. And I I think it should be, you know, known that this is a great beer. Like See, it. now I'm gonna surprise them. For style, I'm gonna go 93. I think, I think it's still a bit boozy. I think the char flavors are very strong. That burnt taste on it is a little too strong. Com doesn't completely balance out. And so in terms of Imperial Stouts, yeah, there are other Imperial Stouts that I, I would take over. Is it excellent? Yeah, so 93. But overall, I'll go ahead and start in there. Okay. But overall, it's a different thing. Because I'm a booze hound when it comes to beers. I admit it. <laughs> I like my big, boozy beers. I like the flamboyant, strong beers. And they're this, just these really strong flavors on it. Uh, they might be overdone. Um, it's not completely cohesive. It was smoother when it started, when it was colder. And as it's become warmer, those flavors have become more sharp. But I love that. And so now, on an overall, I'm jumping right back up to a 96. Well, for me, I've been debating back and forth. Should I drop it down? Should it go up? And the thing is, is I keep drinking and I just keep thinking 96. <laughs> and that's where it's going to be is because it's just so consistent. It really yeah. hasn't changed. And it's just tasty. What you got, Colin? All right. So for my overall, kind of nutty, I'm, I'm going to say a 92, the overall. For the exact reasons that you said for your overall, you rated it up. I like the booziness, but it might be a little too much, and that char flavor is coming through just a tad too much. So for me, that actually drops it down. And I don't mind that on a stout, and you know, stouts and porters are actually kind of my favorite, but it's it's almost a little bit too strong, a little bit too sharp as it sits, so that's why for me it drops back. But still an amazing, amazing beer. But you know, the range is right there for all of us, so. <laughs> These two are teeter-totter, and I'm just consistent. All right, everyone. It is the Eclipse Old Fitzgerald Bourbon Barrels, the Blue Wax, 2012. Mm. That's what you're looking for, man. I don't know if you could find it, but if you haven't had an Eclipse, I'd say you got to go get one. There are several styles, and I go. have enjoyed them all. Mm -hmm. I'm Kevin. I'm Christian. And I'm Colin. From Clement Sober, and we're saying life is too short to drink cheap beer. And we'll see you... On, on the, the next, next beer review. review.